right guys we have an awesome day today it's gonna be amazing so we're on our way to do some fantastic stuff and I'm so beyond excited I'm not gonna say too much so I don't want to give anything away but we are on our way currently to meet up with your favorite Florida resident wild man and paleo guy. oh no I've said too much Everybody, I am so beyond excited right now. <laughs> Alexis, look at who we're with, guys. What's up, dude? Hey. <laughs> this is surreal, guys. This is crazy. All right, so we're we're gonna look for some fossil shells, and I, you know, I don't even care what I find. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so let's get into it. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I got ahead of myself and did my first <laughs> my first screen without recording. So. Uh, look at this thing. This jewel box is incredible. The spines are just crazy. So yeah, I'm already losing it a little bit. <laughs> so let's get back to it. Oh, I am too. <laughs> oh no, I'm right there with you. It's fine. <laughs> oh dude, then that's great. We'll get along great then. I'm right there with you. Oh, there we go. That's better. All right, guys, my bad. <laughs> I am admittedly getting so far ahead of myself that I have not really been recording at all. But so, uh, look at what we just found. Look at that thing. I'm gonna have to do some research. I don't remember if this is a fighting conch or a king's crown conch, but either way, it's amazing and I love it. Uh, also, I've been getting into some great, just fantastic olive shells and a surprising amount of jewel boxes. They're all in the bucket. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> right now, I'm, I'm, I've got like laser focus at the moment. down to a good layer is that a scallop it is a scallop oh my color. gosh that is an amazing oh oh what it's got a mutation, a mutation? yeah that's so cool what? <laughs> i have found like i don't know probably hundreds of olives and i've never seen one with one of these before it deformed while it was growing we gotta see that whoa how cool is that yeah, let me see that what? How did it do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's basically when the shell grows, uh, there's like some form of sand or it breaks or something like mm -hmm. that. And it'll just grow over that, that like, yeah. you know, a, intrusion. So you can get some. <laughs> I love that. That's a very cool. Pretty product. freak shells. Oh, nice. that's so awesome. And it's the biggest olive I found today. So. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I've never seen one like that. <laughs> I found a bunch of freak shells before, but never an olive. So. That is really exciting. Or a fossil olive. So that just makes it even yeah, cooler. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I saw a big shell from a distance and I need to see this. There's a bug out there. Hold on, wait. What do you hear? Oh, it's bad news. Oh, no. What does it say? It says you're a nerd. I'm a nerd. <laughs> you say that's bad news? <laughs> no. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, oh, wow. We'll put some in the big bag. <laughs> You're okay, we'll put this one in. Get a drink out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think do I it again. I did accidentally, and I'm not going to do it You're again. Do it. <laughs> oh, Kauri! Yeah. What? Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Drop the... Okay, stop what you're doing and come over. Stop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh look at that. That's a beautiful shape right there. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, oh that is so cool. Theo doesn't have a cowrie, so I'm gonna gift it to him. What? There you go. Oh dude. Friend. Take it home with you. <laughs> Thanks so much, yes, man. Of course. This is... Oh what? A beautiful cow. Oh, that is so exciting. Dude, you're the best. Calcite 
we found it. Oh, Can that is so cool. cool. <laughs> That's gorgeous, dude. Right, right. Wow. That's what we're yeah. doing against this Chris's. More calcite. Nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, that's, that's one shovel. Get right the there. schnoodles off. Oh Looks gosh. Like we're digging right here, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. I found calcite, guys. Of course, I have my head mount on because I can't keep getting my hands wet. So I have no idea if you can see what I'm showing you right now. Let's just hope for the best that this is good. All right, guys, we have walked way down this stream, and yeah, it's already so exciting. Lots of calcite, and that is just so cool. That was one of the things I was hoping for most on this trip, and. Oh, we're one screen in and I've already found some great pieces, so let's just keep working. Who's crawling on my head? My bad. <laughs> oh yeah, you found a great little chunk, Alexis. Oh, those are beautiful. This calcite is so cool. It's so different from the stuff in Montana. Alright guys, we're moving down a little farther. This is so much fun. Like I am just having a blast right now. This is amazing. <laughs> this is nothing like the Yellowstone. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Man, I'm having a blast. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying this or want to enjoy more content like this, then check out Bailey with Chris and Wild, Wild, oh, I was gonna say, you you have, come on, let's be real. <laughs> Either way, if you haven't, definitely go do it. I'll have links to both of their channels in the description. And you know, you can come back and subscribe to mine when you're done, if you feel like it. I don't think we've ever climbed into a creek and dug with a shovel in Montana. If we have dug in creeks, we just kind of dive down into the water and grab scoops with our hands. That's a fun method too. Though. Yeah, oh, it's a good method here. Too. Although I won't you can just here. see what's underneath you. You normally can in places like this. this is okay. Yeah, there's less <laughs> I can't help but think if this was clear, we probably wouldn't be in here because we would have seen how many weird things are in here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! That's a big boulder. That's a nice boulder. That looks like it's like some like, washed in. <laughs> That's a nice boulder. I want to like have you demonstrate just how deep that hole is compared to ours. Oh, fine. <laughs> well, we'll let him fill his screen so first. I'm not going to interrupt him. Yeah, so this is this is our hole. It's up above <laughs> Alexis's knee. Wait. <laughs> After I take this scoop, I'll step in it. <laughs> yeah, scoop it right Man, here. he's getting the good stuff right there. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's so deep. It's so deep. So we need to get like okay. another foot down, probably. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna start. Uh, can you help me with this, Alexis? Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna start heading back upstream. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Whoa! I just kicked something, so I reached down. And... Yeah, that's a beautiful clam. Oh, cool. There's some calcite right yeah. there. Yeah. It's super filled in, so maybe there's some more in there. Well, okay. Anyway, <laughs> what I was starting to say was that I, we're not really finding that much calcite, so. Well, Kyle is, but. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna head back up a little ways and look for more shells, which you know I will never complain about. This is, that is good. And we did find some calcite, just not that much. You, Kyle, Kyle schooled us. I was uh, hoarding it all for myself. <laughs> he found the good hole and just kept pulling them up. <laughs> In Montana, that's what we call winning. <laughs> winning. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back up the creek. You can tell closer to a road. I don't know what road, but... Um, and yeah, we're gonna just try to find some good, nice big shells. I think I feel some giants underneath me, so that's a good sign. Man, this has been so awesome, though. I cannot stress to you guys enough how much fun this has been. Coming on down. Check it out. Look at that whelk, dude. Oh, that's beautiful. That gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful whelk shell pear whelk. You know, let me see it. You can tell. Uh, I can't remember. Um, I think it's a lightning whelk. Oh, a lightning whelk. Cool. Yep. And uh, the only reason you know that is because lightning, like all shells, uh, rotate one direction. Lightning whelks are weird. They they rotate the opposite direction. So if oh, the mouth is on the opposite sweet. side, you it's know it's it's a lightning whelk. Nice. Let's see, Kyle. What you got, my friend? Well, I was going to show you this. We'll oh. see exactly if that's a jewel or a, a lightning whelk or a knob whelk. So if we do this, yeah, see? Oh, so the mouth is on the opposite side, so it's a lightning whelk. Mouth is on the opposite side, so a lightning whelk. Cool. Heck yeah, thank you, dude. Yeah, man. Thank you, dude. 
Of course, brother. All right, guys. Well, it is time to head out. You have somewhere you need to be. Yep. Which is going to be awesome, I'm sure. <laughs> um, this was just crazy. This was like such a fun day, and it was absolutely nothing like what we do in Montana. So I was just loving every single second of that. Fossil shells, actual like nice calcite. Man, this was just crazy. So to you and to all of you, well, except Alexis, you're always with me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for this. Like this is th so amazing. I know there's a saying that's, uh, <laughs> be careful about meeting your heroes. Well, it's because you might just want to hang out with them like all the time. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back, and I've got everything all cleaned out and organized. This is our the the fossil shell material with the calcite. Those are some really nice calcite crystals, and these would be the shells that we were digging. <laughs> no surprises. Uh, more olives, probably, than anything else. <laughs> so, hmm, which one should we start with? Um, let's start with shells. That's a pristine olive right there. Oh, that's so cool. And we got a surprising amount of coral, which was beyond awesome. I was really happy about that. This one is on an oyster, which is just beyond cool. Um, we've got a couple of these, if I can reach, which are scallops, I believe bay scallops. Really cool, got a handful of those ones. So I was pretty happy about this. I found this beautiful arc shell and sitting right next to it was actually the other half, so <laughs> I have both halves, which is so cool. How awesome is that? <laughs> if only they were still connected. Uh, actually, speaking of still connected, I did find these, which are carditas, and yeah, they're still still hinged. I am definitely not cleaning this because it's probably just being held together with mud right now, so <laughs> I'm going to be careful with that one. A uh, couple nice tulips. Really pretty. But, yeah. We, we got into some specifically that I really want to highlight, so let me grab those out. Actually, I guess first I wanted to show these. <laughs> we got three cones, which is awesome, because I don't actually... I only have, like, one cone shell. I do not have any cones. So that was beyond cool. Um, the other ones I wanted to show were these, which are awesome. And I really don't have any of these either. And these are keyhole limpets. We found three. Limpets are not super common in this part of Florida. So finding fossil limpets are just beyond awesome. That was so cool. Uh, this is awesome. It is not a fossil, nor is it a shell. But Chris told me that this is a uh, an armadillo vertebra. Which is crazy! Like, that's insane! <laughs> You'll never find one of those in Montana. How cool is that? I had to keep that, just because it's amazing. This was my first find of the day, which is awesome, because it's so, so, so nice. Look at this spiny jewel box. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that's so cool. And these two, are, well, three, are definitely my favorite. So this one, right here, is awesome. <laughs> If you watch Kyle and Chris's videos, you know that that when they're doing their shell hunting, olives are very, very common when it comes to the the fossil shells. But this one is a bit special because <laughs> not only does it still have perfect luster, it's uh, deformed. So this happens when something on the like the tip of the shell breaks, or there's like sand or something that got in between the the meat and the shell. Well, they'll just create a little ridge to grow over it so that their skin is protected from it. Or, you know, there'll be a little deformation in the shell, but then that just continues and gets bigger and bigger and bigger as they keep growing on top of it. So, we have a freak olive right here with perfect luster. Now, this one is very, very special to me. This is a cowrie that Kyle found and gave to me, which is a, a by itself awesome, but I actually have never found a cowrie. I have a bunch. We've been shelling in Florida for a long long time and I have never found a cowrie so I was beyond excited about that. That is going in straight into my private collection and then this was probably my nicest shell find of the day. 
look at the size of that King's Crown conch. Funny that my, my biggest King's Crown ever would be a fossil. <laughs> and it's so nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, so we're going to look at some of the fossils now. You'll notice that I have a visitor that is not a lawn ornament. That is a real blue heron just hanging out with me. Anyway. <laughs> so we got... If I can reach it, oh gosh, I should have set up closer. This was the material that we were like breaking through. You can see there's actually some clam material like in there. Clam shells, there's uh, shell imprints, and I'm assuming all of the shells that we were finding loose uh, are eroding out of this matrix. Maybe, uh, maybe this is like a deeper strata, which means they're a bit older, but yeah, a lot of stuff like that. You can see there's actually a partial, partial clam right there. I was really hoping there was calcite in there, but I don't think there is. But yeah, there are some really, really, really cool ones in here, like this clam right here. It's got a nice little pocket of calcite right there. Looks like there was another one laying over top of it. Man, was this some hard material to dig through. <laughs> well worth it, though. It's some awesome stuff. Sorry if my lighting's bad now. I gotta get this recorded so I can get them all packed away. But yeah, some of these are just too cool really really calcified if I can get it to focus thank you yeah really really nicely calcified I love this one you can see that's an oyster but inside of the oyster are little calcite crystals it's so cool that little clam right there is like solidly calcified it's so cool um, here let me pick out my favorite pieces and then you know you know the drill all right I love this clam and if I get light on maybe that'll help a little bit I may excavate this a little bit to kind of open it up because you can tell there's some really nice calcite crystals inside of it yeah you can see just how much is really going on in there that's an awesome piece um, we got this one right here look at that beautiful little fossil shell oh it's so cool <laughs> it's so cool I love it nice calcite on this one really nice vein in there and um, these are the best ones by far I think anyway so there's this one right here and you can just see there's a lot of calcite in that piece just gorgeous and a bunch of shell material throughout the rest of the of the stone um, then we have this one right here which is small, but my gosh, those are some beautiful crystals. And this one right here, which again, little but fantastic. And I think this has to be our nicest piece of calcite. Look at the crystals on that, it's just crazy. Man, the calcite down here is absolutely nothing like the stuff we find in Montana. Right, guys that's gonna do it for this one <laughs> that was just one of the funnest days I've had while fossil hunting and oh it was just amazing it was so much fun so different than what we're used to and man did we get away with some amazing stuff it was just so much fun and yeah it was just a very meaningful day for me because I've been watching Kyle and Chris for a very long time so getting to go out and actually hunt with them was just it was awesome. It was so much fun. Massive shout out to the both of them for taking me out to get after some amazing stuff. And if you have not already, I know I said it earlier, but go subscribe to their channels. That's Wild Kyle and Paleo Chris. I'll have descriptions to both in the channel or in the yeah description. 
video description. That's the word I was looking for. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Um, let me know down in the comments which find was your favorite. There was definitely a lot of variety in this one, so uh, you should have plenty of options to choose from. <laughs> uh, I'll have links to my Instagram, Facebook group, and store up in the description. But again, that's going to do it for this one. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.